Hi everyone, this is Scott in the old curiosity shop. And it's time for guess what sold last week on eBay. I do this every Monday night and it's the things that I have sold from last Monday night to this very second. This isn't gonna be a very long video because I only sold about six things, but it's okay. Things go in cycles. It has been the slowest week for me this year. Excuse me, but actually, uh, I'm doing very well this week profit wise, and I'm going to show you why. Because this piece right here that you're looking at is a uh, antique standard Model A crank phonograph circa 1920. It's currently up for auction. Now, right now, it's sitting at $200. And so the auction doesn't close for another day and 15 hours. So technically, the $200 that have been bid so far actually took place during this past week. So that's the reason why I'm throwing it on now because I'm going to sort of whatever it does after today will be next week. But it's probably only going to sell for about 200. I don't think it's going to go up. This is what I anticipate it selling for. Uh, it's I mess around with phonographs quite a bit, do a lot of rest restoration work. This is one that is in beautiful original condition. It does not have a horn. Horns are, are replaceable. Uh, you can get a horn for this. It's probably going to cost the collector about 200 bucks. Well, 100, 150 to get a good horn. Uh, the reproducer needs to be rebuilt. But this will be a working phonograph for someone. And um, overall, it's about a $600 phonograph. But without the horn and needing the full restoration, I'm thrilled to get 200 for the uh, machine itself so I'll let you know when that auction auction ends uh, in a day and a half so these are the things that actually did sell this week a 1950s chenille Christmas Santa with nervous arms he has mm -hmm. his he has uh, jiggly arms when you shake him really good shape he was in it's funny, he's been in my shop since December, but he just sold this week for $24.99 plus shipping. Lester, I told you I was going to steal your line. Uh, this is a rare Nancy Reagan Just Say No Christmas ornament or Christmas candle holder. I give credit to uh, a watcher named Lester. Good line. I wish I had thought of it. No, it's actually half of a Noel. The candle would go right in that hole there. And it's uh, 1960s, right? $5.99 plus shipping. Two Hazel Atlas tumblers in the fine rib pattern. This is a flashed on color. These came in sets of four. I think there was a blue one and a pink one. But these two sold for $14.99 plus shipping. 1950s made in Japan sailor, sailor boy with an anchor. And he's not a salt and pepper shaker. And he sold for $6.99 plus shipping. A 1960s tea, aluminum tea, can, tea canister. Sorry, folks, I am tired and I've got a cracker stuck in my throat somewhere. <clears throat> You really didn't need to know that. <clears throat> I apologize. What did that thing sell for? $9.99 plus shipping. And for $12, four green depression glass nut dishes or mint nut or mint dishes. I guess that's what they are. That's what I called them anyway. Probably, and these have been on for a while because of the photograph. I can tell this is back when I was taking really crappy pictures on the windowsill. 12 bucks plus shipping. And this just sold today. A uh, This was the uh, 20 pieces, children's piece made in Japan tea set. And it's really complete with a casserole dish a, with a lid, a gravy boat, and an underplate, and some serving platters back there, cups and saucers. Cream and sugar, the only thing missing is the teapot. 
And I was surprised at the quality of this, just how well it was made for a, you know, a made, a cheap made in Japan set. It's almost like a miniature, like a salesman sample or something like that. Sold for $55. That was nice. I only paid nine bucks for that. And I haven't packed it yet. It's going to take me a little bit, but they did pay $15 shipping. So that's it. I will let you know next week what happens with this. But again, I anticipate that it's probably going to close at right about, it might go up a little bit more, but it's probably going to close for 200 a little phonograph. Okay, folks, this is Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop saying thanks for watching. Have a great week, everyone. So long for now.